Right, let's talk about Arturo Vidal because recently speculation surrounding him has moved from United are buying him to the deal is off. So let's talk about why that is. First things first, recently he's come out and said, I am a Juventus player. I'm at a great club, but I'm very calm about the news about Manchester United because anybody would want to play for a great club like them. That is roughly what he said. We don't know if there's been a mistranslation or if those quotes are 100% accurate, but basically he said, I'm aware, of the, I'm aware of the speculation and everybody wants to play for Manchester United, which isn't, I'm a, I'm a Juventus player, let's leave it at that. I don't want to talk about it. His agent also won't talk about it. So nobody is denying this deal is possible. Let's make that aware. And let's remember that really nobody else knows anything. So let's start off with reasons why this could be off. Let's talk about his knee and the fact that United are concerned about buying someone who has had a major injury, despite the fact that he's just had a really good World Cup. And if we were to buy him, he would obviously have a medical. And right now he's on his holiday, so nobody could know if he's having knee troubles now. Um, but in the past, United have bought Anderson, um, Hargreaves and Ruud van Nistelrooy, all who had major injuries before we bought them. And only van Nistelrooy was a success. Anderson and Hargreaves as central midfielders are the people who are most likely to be compared to Vidal in terms of position. And if they've got an injury and he's got an injury and will it all work out? But I don't see that there'd be a lot in that, as we say, because they'd give him a medical and he's just had a really good World Cup. Uh, reason number two why this might not be happening is money. Uh, so there's two ways of looking at this. Firstly, is that Man United have just signed this huge deal with Adidas, 750 million pounds. So we have got loads of money. So why not spend it? We can't really say to Juventus, well, we won't pay that extra two million pounds because you know, we don't really have the cash. We obviously do. They're definitely aware that we do. On the other hand, if Juventus are saying, well, you know, you've got the money, you can give us the extra two million, they will not be held to ransom. Manchester United will not pay over the odds for a player and we will not be held to ransom. That's just a fact. So, I mean, hopefully the, the Juventus and the United parties on the phone can come to some sort of compromise here in which United say, actually, we do have a lot of money. We can pay it and get the player. And Juventus can say, well, we got a good deal. They've got loads of money. We got a good deal. Everybody's happy then, right? It's better that than say, well, we're keeping our two million. You keep the down. Certainly from a fan's perspective, I'd rather have the down. Uh, so, Money is a complicated issue and it certainly could be financial, but we know the money is there. Uh, it just depends how Juventus are dealing with our, our offer, if there has been an offer. Uh, another reason that's being reported is that Louis van Gaal has said, no, I don't want him. Cancel all this talk about Vidal. I'm not interested. Which is mad. There's no way an English journalist, certainly now, because van Gaal hasn't even been in England for them to build up any kind of relationship, could know what he's thinking, certainly, or what he wants to do or who he wants to buy, because he'll have told Woodward at the start of the, the transfer window, before he went off to the World Cup, look, these are the players I'd like to buy. He'd also have said, these are the players I'd like to sell or I'm open to selling. These, these conversations would have taken place ages ago. They're not happening now. Van Hal isn't going, oh, I've just seen in the Daily Mail that we're going to bid for Vidal. I don't remember saying that. Don't worry him. Cancel that. Like, that's madness. They'd have sorted this out ages ago. Um, the... Only other the, the other thing not only the other thing about this is is that Vidal uh, uh, Van Hal has previously said he is a massive fan of Vidal and that he tried to buy him for Bayern Munich so we know he's a, a, a Van Hal type player and he's a player Van Hal rates so certainly it's unlikely he's going to go well I don't fancy him cancel that uh, we just don't believe that anybody can could know that information uh, and the perfect example of the fact that this is so cloudy and uh, I mean like Twitter rumours have started other rumours that have been believed by the people who made them up in the first place like there's just so much going on with this story now uh, within the space of 24 hours the Daily Mail printed this is happening 32 million pounds it's getting closer he's on his holiday when he gets back this will all go through within 24 hours they're saying deal's off Van Hal's pulled the plug because of this 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 and this Nobody really knows what's going on. That is really the important thing here. Um, but certainly speculation has shifted that this isn't happening. Why could that be? Well, I suggest this. The World Cup has just finished and they need to write things in their newspapers to sell their newspapers. And as nothing has been going on with this, why not write that it's not happening anymore? You may remember that exactly the same stories were written about Luke Shaw and Dan de Herrera. That way, the paper causes a bit of controversy. You read it because you go, oh, they get you invested. You go, oh, we're buying Luke Shaw, we're buying Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw, so you read it. Then they go, oh, it's not happening. And they know you'll read it because you're invested. And once they've written, definitely happening, not happening. The moment the transfer goes through or it doesn't happen, they go, we told you. We absolutely told you. Which is why they write out every possibility. It's madness. So be aware of that. 
The other thing, by comparing uh, Luke Shaw and Herrera to this deal, is that the Luke Shaw and Herrera deals would have been in place for a very long time. Uh, and negotiations would have been ongoing. And the players would have known, the clubs would have known that this is all sorted. And that when the transfer window opens, just sign away. And it's all sorted. It's all done. Uh, Vidal, not necessarily in that camp. We don't know when United would have moved. This might be specifically one that Van Howe has come in and said, right, get Vidal. But transfers take a long time. On the other hand, look how quickly Arsenal signed Alexis Sanchez. Nobody seems to think that was in place for a very long time. Uh, and because of Liverpool and Barcelona, and Liverpool didn't want to sell Suarez. So we don't know if that was necessarily in place, but it does look like transfers can be completed very quickly. Obviously, the World Cup is a complication. The fact that he's gone on his holiday, but we don't really know. One final point to make on this is that Patrice Evra somehow is caught up in the middle of all this because apparently he has agreed personal terms with Juventus. That's all sorted. However, he has not joined Juventus. That hasn't happened yet. We've had no word from Evra saying, I love United fans, thanks for everything, I'm off, or I'm staying. We've had no word from Juventus saying, we have signed Patrice Evra, or we've agreed something with him, or we don't want Evra, and there's been nothing from Manchester United. So the only things I can imagine this could be is because Van Howe has said, yeah, I understand he said he wants to leave and he's got a deal in place, but actually I don't want to sell him, keep him at the club. So Van Howe is adamant that he stays. Or the possibility that somewhere Evra is involved in the Vidal talks or that United are saying, well, you can have him, but when we have Vidal, we sort it out together. In similar circumstances, there is also recent talk that Juventus are after someone like Paulinho and they won't sell Vidal until they have a replacement in line set up to buy. Not really sure if that is true, but it's certainly possible. Um, although if it's happening, the deal would all be totally organised and you wouldn't get Vidal saying, well, it might happen, it might not happen. He would know because the, the deal would be arranged and it would just be a case of Juventus buying somebody else. Uh, so ultimately, nobody really knows what's going on. Don't believe what you read. You've just got to wait and be patient and it's annoying. Very frustrating, in fact. Uh, we'll do more on this as we get information. So subscribe to Full Time Devils to make sure you find out what is happening with this hideous transfer saga involving Arturo Vidal. Thanks very much.